economic water quantity how much should you water to minimize the inventory cost um, if you water too much, then you might get a better price, but then you have to hold that inventory for, um, so that will, the holding and carrying cost will increase. Um, so some of the notation used, demand is D, uh, water is Q, and then the um, uh, watering cost is C0, uh, CO, and then carrying cost is CC. So if we have yearly demand D and we are watering, um, Q every time, so the total number of orders then um, will be D by Q. And then uh, if this is the number of water, and then each water cost C0, so that will be the total um, order cost, ordering cost. Uh, and then um, carrying cost, we have to determine the number of inventory that we are carrying on an average for the entire time period. So if you think about the timeline, let's assume that we receive an order today of Q amount and then we start using that. So it will, so the Y axis is the order. So assume that we receive Q amount of water and then today right here, so we receive water here and then it will be used, 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 and then it will completely stop and then again we receive another water here of Q amount and going like this. So as you can see here, it starts from zero to Q. So the average number of inventory we're going to hold is basically Q plus zero by two. There's two numbers divided by two. So then that's the average number of inventory. So the inventory, so the um, we have Q by two number of units uh, we are holding on an average and this cost CC per unit. So that will be our carrying cost or holding cost. So the total cost for this inventory would be the ordering cost DQ um, C0 plus the carrying cost which is this. Now, if you look at this um, two um, equation, um, I can draw it here. So if I, if I use x axis the uh, water and the y axis is the cost uh, dollar, as you can see, this one looks more like y equal to, so q is x here. So this is our y y equal to somewhat like y equal mx type of situation because we have q here so that's a um a straight line through the origin and this one is a um y equal to some constant um, by x so that's going to look something like this so this is our carrying cost as you can see if we water is stock more it will will have more holding cost and this is the watering cost so will reduce with the water size. So then the total cost will be some curve like this. And there will be a minimum point here, which is parallel to the x-axis. And the slope of that line, you know, any parallel to x-axis slope is zero. So what you can do, basically, we can, we can find the slope dy by dx um, like that. So that will be minus one, Q C zero D oh, sorry that's D Q is square plus C C two. If you set this zero because the slope is zero at the optimum level of cost the, to minimize the cost and then um, minus C zero Q, Q is square C C two. If you solve for Q that will be the optimum number of water that will save um, the cost or minimize the cost. So we can solve for that, we'll find out that. So this is the basic economic water quantity. In the next video, I'll show you how to use this formula and solve a problem.